We meet again, Magnus and I, in the Play Magnus app. Welcome, everybody. This is Niklas Huschenbeet, and I'm facing today Magnus at the age of 13. So let's go there. He looks pretty serious here. And what does the text say? I became Grandmaster, the second youngest in history at the time. I beat Anatoly Karpov, a former world chess champion, but lost to Garry Kasparov, another former world chess champion. I felt like I played like a child against Kasparov. Then again, I guess I was just a kid. Well, this is becoming more and more serious. All right, let's get into the game. He goes e4 and I answer with c5. And we have to open Sicilian, the knight of goes bishop e3 i answer e6 he plays g4 so aggressive all right let's go for some sharp lines um let's test my <laughs> opening knowledge i guess um all right so this is all familiar to me it's a really sharp crazy line you know the kind of stuff you don't play against a computer usually but whatever and I think d5 is the way to go here. And he takes an f6. And now I think uh, how did this go? d4 or bishop takes f5. Well, d4 looks like the right move. I think d4 is the right move. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just all crazy. Now I can't take the, any of the pieces because of bishop takes f7 check. And I would lose my queen on d8. So that wouldn't be great. Um, I think bishop takes f5. But it's really dangerous, guys, because I'm kind of relying half on my memory here. And, you know, <laughs> you should do that. But... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. We're, we're just playing for fun. And I'm actually pretty sure this how this line went. Now queen g6. And yes, I am aware I'm going to lose the rook. But that's okay. Question is, where do I put my king? Okay, so king d8. Now takes... Uh, exchanges queens. Then he takes on a8. I take on e3. And then I go... Hmm, I see. Yeah, I vaguely remember this line. I remember it was good for black. Um, maybe I go to e7, but then he could go queen h4 check, which I don't like. I would love him to take off the queens. So that's maybe not the right way. King d7 or king d8. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, the only problem is that in some lines the f7 pawn is hanging, but maybe that's not an issue if I can, if I can trap his knight. So let's try to do that. All right, so how do I take back? I'm very inclined to take with the H pawn. I mean, it just feels like the right way. But on the other hand, what if I take with the F pawn or the bishop, for example, knight takes A8, takes on E3. Am I not just trapping his... Nah, maybe I'm not just trapping his, his knight. So let's take with the H pawn. Takes, 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 he gives a check. And maybe I just go king e7 here. This might be how this line went, more or less. Because if I go king c6, he plays bishop d5, and that just doesn't feel right. So I guess I have to allow him to get his knight out. Yeah, and then king e7 looks most sensible to me 
And now I can go rook h3 or bishop h6. Bishop h6, he has to protect the pawn somehow. Hmm. Yeah, bishop h6 looks like a sensible move. And now... I want to go bishop g5. To hit the pawn on h2, he goes rook d2, and now I want to go rook h3 to further increase the pressure. Ah, knight b6, that's smart, that's smart, I didn't see that. Now I can take on e3, it's not with check, and he can go knight d5. Um, yeah, that is a little bit annoying. Okay, but I still like my position, to be honest with you guys. I still like it. I could go bishop e6, for example, here. And yes, I'm going to exchange down, but my pieces are well placed. I feel comfortable. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll go bishop e6. Take, take. Knight d5. Okay. And... Um, I just bring my knight into play, how about that? Yes, he's gonna defend his knight. Maybe I could have stopped that, no, nah, but probably not. And I will go e4 or f5. f5 also looks sensible, but knight c7 is bugging me a little bit. Could be bugging me in general, actually. Knight c7. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if he wants to make a draw, I guess he can then. Maybe. But I'm, I'm relying, uh, or I'm hoping he's not going to make a draw. All right. Doesn't look like. It. So now I can go knight e5. I like knight e5. Rook g2. Rook g2. Oh, he might go knight f4 next. Uh oh. Uh oh. I completely, completely ignored that move. Knight f4. And then he takes. And. Um, I take, take, uh, so if I play bishop h6, for example, knight f4 takes, takes, and then the e-pawn and my knight is attacked, which is an issue. Can I go, I could go knight f3, for example. Yeah, actually, knight f3, or I could go king f5. Mm, well, why not go knight f3, actually? Or can he go rook g5, then? No. Or can he? Can he? Uh oh, knight of three, rook g5? No, he cannot. I mean, he could, but he wouldn't get an advantage. Knight of three, rook takes g5, knight takes e1, check, king d1. Now there's the threat of knight of four as well as taking the knight on e1, but I can go knight d3, defend against both threats, and that's where my calculation stops. So let's do this, and yes, he did not take. But rook takes g5 is in the position. So I need to be aware of that and I need to uh, prevent that. So I think I'm going to go king e5, which makes more sense to me than playing move like bishop h6, which actually also makes sense. <laughs> I like my position. I can just re repeat myself. Okay, let's go king, king e5. b3 and... Um, now, the question is, how do I make progress? I want to push my pawn, so probably I'm going to go bishop h6 after all now, because if I start with f5, I have difficulties moving my bishop then, because then the pawn on g6 is hanging. So I would like to go g5 first, and then f5, and then, you know, and so on. 
The question is, can he do anything? I mean, what is his next move? I could also play a move like b5, but that is not helping me, just weakening my um, my queen side. So bishop h6 really seems like the way to go here. Yeah, let's just do it. And he just moves the king, and I go g5, and I go f5. Yeah, he's not doing anything, so I'm just improving my position. I like that. I mean, he's also improving a little bit, but what is he going to do next? a4, b5? Okay, it takes forever. I have to move knight d4 also in the position. Uh, just saying, just saying that there is this move available. Um, otherwise, f4 looks just like the very obvious move to play. So I think I'm going to do that. I mean, I could also go g4, but... Or knight h4. Knight h4 is also interesting, but maybe he goes rook g3. Um, no, I wouldn't like rook g3. That would be terrible. So let's go f4. And now he's just acting like I'm not doing anything. But I am doing stuff. So what if I play knight h4 now? That looks very strong. Could also go knight d4, but there's really no point in that. So let's go knight h4, rook f2, and now I want to go knight f5. I can also play f3 already. That's also pretty pretty nice, certainly. Um, starting to enjoy my position. Well, to be honest, I was enjoying it the entire time. Well, not the entire time, maybe, but most of the time. But f3 also looks tremendously strong. This is really like a luxury problem here, going f3 or knight f5. Mm. Well, knight f5, he still goes rook e1, and well, my position is great. Well, even then I could go... Okay, let's do it like this. I keep all my options open. Go, and now I can still go. Uh, I can still go f3. I'm also thinking about g4, but I'm afraid he might just take on f4. And I'm missing something there. But f3, he might go rook g1 now. Huh. That's annoying. A little bit. f3, rook, g1, stopping me from going g4. Hmm. <sighs> Not over yet. Not over yet, certainly. So, is this g4 maybe working? I mean, or is this just rubbish? What do you guys think? g4, knight takes f4, bishop takes, rook takes, knight takes e3. Now the rook is hanging on f4, and I'm threatening knight g2. But I would l rather like to keep complete control. Well, it's probably not possible. Even after f takes e3, he could play rook takes f5, for example. But okay, that really wouldn't be good for him. Um, but I don't want to mess up my pawn structure. So I'm kind of not a fan of f takes e3, ah, g4, rook takes f4, what about that move, is that nonsense? Probably I can go knight takes e3 simply, yeah, now rook takes f4 is nonsense, and uh, knight takes f4 is also, looks pretty good. Mm, but then again, who knows? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, he plays rook g2. See, I didn't even acknowledge this move. Um, which might be an issue. <laughs> yeah, that is actually very simple and uh, probably a pretty strong move. Mm, 
Yeah, I feel like I've messed it up somehow. But it's so strange. Look also good, but it's just standing there waiting and then the question is how do I make progress? But probably need to play slower. Maybe play with F3 after all. And then I don't know, somehow somehow break through. Because now it feels like I've messed it up a little bit. Probably more than a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take on e3 and take on h2. Yeah, to place rook here. Yeah. Threatening rook e8. Yeah, I allowed him to activate the rook. And that is, that was not great. I could go bishop g7 now to have a counter check when he. Yeah, actually it looks smart. Bishop g7 looks like a s kind of smart move. I mean, there's knight takes e3. When after king f4 check, he would maybe just sidestep. Oh, wow. King b3. Mm, yeah, this is messy. Messy, messy. So bishop g7, knight takes e3, king f4 check, he could take on g7, but okay. Then he's definitely not better, and he could play king b3. Hmm. Yeah, you could play king b3. That's crazy. And annoying. Ha! <laughs> and very much annoying. Uh, I could take on a2, but then he plays rook e8 and takes on e4. I don't want that. Hmm. Ah, hold on. I can go bishop g7 and knight takes e3, rook h3. I didn't see that move. But he plays something else, rook g1, and I missed that move. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just hitting my bishop. Ha! Huh. That is a painful move to face. Hold on, but what if I go e2? At least then he can take. Now he goes back. Okay, well, I mean... I guess it just looks like I made progress. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, this is just all messy. Completely messy. I mean, the knight on d5. Uh, b5 maybe. What about b5? Is that a move? I want to play b5 for a long time now, but... <sighs> b5... Rook e8, king d6, rook takes e4. No, king d6 is check. That's a check. That's a check. Rook h3 is another move, obviously, that really needs to be considered. Um, really does need to be considered. It looks also very attractive to, to bring the king also into d4, possibly. But b5 I also like. I'm, I'm drawn to these kind of cool moves. <laughs> mm. Yeah, b5 or rook h3, those are my two options really, I think, that make the most sense. Ah. <sighs> Chess is not easy, I can tell you guys that much. And it really feels like an important moment here in this game. It really does feel like it. Rook h3, king d2, he's probably gonna play bishop h6, king takes e2. Rook h2, check king f1, and everything's protected. Or I go rook h3 check, king d2, king d4. 
which looks nice. Okay. I'm so active, my king. I really do like that. But he plays rook takes e2, and then now what? Now what? Yeah, I don't really see it. All right, so let's go b5. <laughs> After I didn't uh, calculate that move at all. <laughs> but if he has to play a move like knight b6, I mean, that looks like such an odd move. I mean, now already it feels like I made the right choice, to be honest. Um, rook h3 once again comes to mind, as well as king f4, obviously. I mean, king f4. King f4 looks like tremendous move king f4 followed by king f3 i mean yo <laughs> this gotta be good right i mean I, i'm aware he also has a c pawn that's that's the only thing i'm a little bit worried about he wants to go c5 next no doubt about it but i could play king f4 check or i could take on c4 now but uh, king of four check, king d2, and then take on c4, for example. I mean, king of four just really feels like the right move. He takes. Well, what? What is going on? Am I missing something? What is this? This is just completely losing for him, isn't it? I just have a pawn on e2. Like, what do you want from me? Okay, well, that's an interesting turn of events that I very much like because I will win this now. That's for sure. Okay, but now I'm just going to protect this one. Knight d4, I mean, he's almost in, like, Zugzwang, isn't he? a3. Well, what is his next move? <laughs> Let me just play rook g2 and see what he's going to play. I mean, I could also play king f2. Actually, king f2 looks tremendously strong because of the threat knight of 3. Is he just going to resign after king f2? Guys, am I missing something here? King f2? Looks like game over, right? Damn! Oh no! No, what am I doing? I, I missed something. No, I gave up a pawn. Oh my god. Okay, now let's play rook g2. But now I can go king d3. But can I go king f2 now? Oh my god, guys, why didn't I? Oh my god. Oh my god, this hurts so bad. This really does hurt so bad, and I don't think I'm gonna win this anymore. Okay, but I gotta keep trying. Of course, I need to keep the pawn on b5, so rook g5 is the only move. Ah, uh, man, this is just. Oh my god. Okay. Let me just go home and cry now. Let me just, let me just, well, I am at home. So what am I say? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I guess I'm just too tired. So yeah, I blundered the rook. I blundered the whole game. Um, that sucks, obviously. So I'm going to resign. And I'm just going to briefly show you. I think that uh, if I was to, I don't know, I want to do it like this. Wait. Export. Hold on. There was another option somewhere here. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Replay on the web. And if we go to the end. Uh, no, not what. What if? Come on now. Don't mess with me. So if I don't play King F2, where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna win. Cool. If I go rook g2 here, I think it's 
I think he's in Zugzwang. Um, yeah, he can move the king, obviously, because of king e3. Um, if he now plays like knight d5, I can go king f2. And if he goes a4, I can just... I mean, a4 seems to be the only move. If he moves the rook, I can also go king f2. No, I can't go king f2. But Okay, let's go a... Well, a4, just take. No, this can't be. Um, yeah, and if he moves the rook, I don't know, rook h1, then, yeah, king f2, very simple. I oh, know, I'm always falling for his king f2, what the heck. Um, <laughs> not king f2, but... Knight b3, for example. Knight b3 forces king e1. It feels like this should be easier somehow. Um, e1 queen could be also cool, but I, don't, I mean, if it's not winning immediately, then maybe not. It doesn't seem to win immediately. Hmm. Yes, looks like still some work to be done. But, I mean, I have no doubts that this is winning. I mean, it's just gotta be. Maybe, maybe even rook f2 is smarter. Preparing rook f1. Maybe this is the way to go, actually. And I'm just threatening rook f1. Very simple. Yeah, that looks about game over. All right, guys, I messed it up. That's a great lesson. Um, yeah, stay focused till the end. And, <laughs> well, I just missed too many night moves there. All right, I, I, get, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And... I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.